Hi again, I'm Adam from ingvid.com. Today's lesson is going to be about agreeing and disagreeing. I know that sometimes these get a little bit confusing, but I also, I think I understand why they get a little bit confusing. There are many ways to agree, okay? So we're going to look at these first, and then we will look at the ways to disagree. So first, I think so too. To is a word used to agree. So do I. So is also a word used to agree. You have to be careful not to mix. This so and this so are two different words. This so means pointing to something, the thing that we're talking about. Okay, so don't mix the two. So again, we have two, two, and then very straightforward sentences. I agree, I think so too, etc. Now, we're going to look at these ones a little bit after, okay? Because th this is where people get a little bit confused, I think. So, I'm going to give you a statement. And most of these expressions are used to agree or disagree with an opinion, okay? Or uh, some sort of belief or whatever. So, everybody's talking these days about the election in America. So, somebody says, I think Mitt Romney is going to win. Now, if you think the same, if you think the Mitt Romney is going to win, you can say, I think so too. So means Mitt Romney winning. Good. You can also say, so do I, or me too, or I do too, or I agree. Any of these will be fine. Okay. Remember, the so comes before the do, the to comes after the do. One thing, if you want to use one or the other, make sure you put it in the right place. You, can, you cannot say I too. If you want to use only the word to with me, me too, I do too. If you want to use the I too, you have to have the verb inside there. Same with I think so too. There's the I too, there's the I too, there's the verb, there's the verb. Easy. Good. Easiest way to agree is say, I agree. Very straightforward. Now, we have here, we have neither. Some people say neither. Both are okay. Choose which one you like. Either, either, and the same. So, you can say, me neither. This is very informal. Okay. I'll put here, just so you remember, it's informal. Don't write it in, in a business situation or a high-level meeting, for example. Don't use that. I don't either, or neither do I. Now, why do you think I put these three under agree? Many people think, but this is a negative. It means disagree, doesn't it? No, it also means agree, but you agree with a negative statement, okay? So if somebody says, I think Mitt Romney is going to win, but you don't think so, you can't say this. You must go to your disagree list, okay? But if somebody says, I don't think Mitt Romney is going to win, you can't use any of these either. You must use these. So, I don't think Mitt Romney is going to win. Me neither. I don't either. Neither do I. Okay, so very, very important. You're agreeing with a negative. But you are still agreeing. Okay, very important to remember that. You're not disagreeing here. You're agreeing with a negative statement. Now, if you do want to disagree with someone, someone says, I think Mitt Romney is going to win, but you don't think so. You think Obama is going to win. You say, the opposite. I think Obama will win, right? So the easiest way to disagree is just to say what you think. I think differently. I think something else from what you think, okay? Or very simple. I don't, or I don't think so, or very simple. I disagree. That's the easiest way to disagree is to say, I disagree. Makes sense, right? Now, this is not only for opinions. 
Somebody, well, it is kind of an opinion, but it's a little bit more of a judgment. Somebody says, I like apples. Do you say, I think so too? Of course not. You can only say, I do too, or repeat the entire statement. I like apples too. You can't use the so for like. I like bananas, so do I. I like strawberries, me too. Um, I love to study English, I do too. Agree? What is agree? Can you agree with something someone likes? Not really. You can agree with an opinion, okay? So keep that in mind. All of these you can use with any statement. Agree, usually with an opinion. Now, I don't like peanut butter. Some people don't like it. I don't like peanut butter, me neither. Means I don't like peanut butter. You say, you, do, I, you say, I don't like pizza. I think you're strange, but you don't like pizza. Maybe I don't, I don't either. Or neither do I. Now, for those of you who are about to take TOEFL or IELTS, I'll give you another word. I'll put it here. Instead of using the word agree, you can say concur. It means you have the same opinion or the same conclusion. If you're not taking the TOEFL or the IELTS, don't worry about this word. You're not going to use it very often. Okay. And disagree, very straightforward. The easiest way to say you don't agree, I disagree. But uh, somebody says, I, I like pizza. I don't like pizza. Easiest way. Just say the opposite. Easy. Okay. But the main thing I want everyone to take away from this lesson is these three, because this is where the most mistakes happen. Okay. So be very careful about it. Positive statement, positive agreement. Negative statement, negative agreement. If, if you want to say the opposite, then you're a whole different list of words. Okay. If you want to make sure you understand all this, go to ingvid.com, check out the quiz. And if you have any questions, of course, ask. Okay. I'll see you again soon. Thanks.